Valparaiso women's basketball head coach Keith Freeman has had a share of success over his 22-year career, entering the 2009-2010 season with a record at Valpo of 260 and 181. This year, though, has been somewhat difficult. Well, I don't think you're ever ninth in the league and, and happy with where you're at. Right. I, yeah. Um, right. you know, my, my focus is always, I, I don't focus on winning and losing, I focus on where are we in the process and what are we going to do to try to get better. Over the past 12 seasons, Freeman's team has recorded 18 or more victories eight times and finished fourth in the Horizon League last year, enabling Valpo to host a quarterfinal game in the conference tournament, marking the first time Valpo had hosted a conference tournament contest since 1995. Some of the things that are problems with this team are not really fixable over a short run. It's going to take a it's going to take a process of getting better. And uh, I think this team has steadily improved over the course of the season. Uh, we've definitely become a better defensive team. Uh, and, and we just got to continue to work on the offensive phase of the game. We're a young team. Um, we have young guards. And that's all. I mean, we lost our four starting seniors, senior guards. And so that's kind of hard to bounce back from. Um, the guards have a lot of responsibility being as freshmen and that, that can be really challenging for freshmen especially. Rather than looking at the season from a negative perspective though, senior forward Lauren Kenny has chosen to push ahead and make the best of the situation, helping her team to do the same as well. So we're just really we're just trying to keep our heads up. I know that we haven't been very successful lately and we've lost some really tough games and games that we could have won in the end and you know that's just something that we have to you know push through as a team together and um, just keep working. One player that has stepped up to the need is freshman guard Reagan Moore. Recently, she has registered her first collegiate back-to-back double-figure scoring games with 15 points against Butler at home on February 6th and 17 points at Green Bay a week earlier. It's particularly the teams that pressure us. She's been able to show that she can put the ball on the floor and get to the rim. Mm -hmm. uh, the thing she's done better than just about anybody in conference play is she's gotten to the foul line. Right. And uh, so that she's been able to get easy points that way. To step up like she has been in a few of our games is, I mean, we couldn't ask for anything better, really. Um, I think sometimes she feels distant to do things because she is a freshman. You know how some freshmen are, you know, they don't want to step on any toes or, you know, do too much because they're freshmen, you know. But I tell her, I tell her, you know, you get that ball, if you want to shoot it, you shoot it. If you want to drive it and you think that you can beat this girl, you drive it. Don't let anybody stop you. Although her freshman teammate might be shy at times, at no point during the season has Kenny been shy in leading her team. Averaging 12 points and 7 rebounds a contest through this season, she's been a model of stability on the floor for the Crusaders. And if you didn't recognize the last name, yep, her little brother, freshman Matt Kenny, plays for Coach Drew in the men's team at Valpo. He's really strong and he's He's got mad skills and he can dunk it, so I'll give him <laughs> I'll give him a little show for his money, but yeah. I don't know. As the Crusaders look ahead to their remaining schedule, their goal will be to ramp up their game on both sides of the ball. You know, really our deficit it's in these games is it's anywhere from four to six points would would take us, you know, if we had four to six more points per per game, we'd probably be looking at a second place right now. So we're trying to squeeze out four to six more points a game, whether it's on the offensive end or the defensive end, so that uh, we can get on the, uh, uh, the win column uh, more times than not these last eight games. Stay positive. That's, that's the mental thing right there. Everybody's just got to stay positive.